Hi, I'm Tim from Slide Dynamic, and this is a tutorial. Included in it are all the source files that you're going to see here to recreate the uh, the Halloween Prezi special effect, as it's uh, referred to in Prezi's forum. And to show you what that looks like, uh, if you open up the Happy Halloween Prezi, which was actually created by Prezi's own team, not by me. Um, if you come to this monster's head and click advance within Prezi's path you'll see it opens up and another picture is shown to you. Uh, if I manually go in you'll see that this is keenly tied to, uh, to, the, to the zoom function and that's why it works when you uh, progress through Prezi's path. So that's what we're going to recreate so I will close that down and, uh, and just show you the files we're going to be working with. Um, included in this YouTube video in the description is the link to download these or if you're watching it on our website you'll find a link directly below the embedded video and there are four folders and each of these folders is relevant and I'll explain why as we uh, as we progress through this. Um, I might add that this is really aimed at people with little or no flash authoring skills. Um, if you're a flash user, uh, advanced flash user or a developer then you can bypass all of this, it is just not relevant to you. If you are a completely new user to flash then once you have these, you should probably find a couple of tutorials on the very basic functions of uh, of creating Flash within um, Flash Adobe CS 5.5, which is the tool we're going to be using. But just to put this in context, um, one of the four folders here is published Prezi. If I just go in, it's, uh, it's the Prezi I've created and published out so that I can show you what's actually happening. Um, I'm going to run this on a PC, but obviously you could run it on a Mac. It works on both. Um, let me just open this file for a moment. So this is the file we're going to be working with, and this is what we're going to recreate. And it is a reveal on path zoom. So um, just to put that into context, there are two things we're going to be working with. One is events, and second is listeners. So in Flash, and you're probably a fay with this if you've ever you know used a flash button on a website but um, within this flash button there is uh, there is a, a listener and the listener is looking and listening for an event and the event is me mousing over it and it action from that event is to change color um, there is another listener that if I uh, perform an event like click it it will open a new website so these are the two functions we're going to be uh, be using within flash but instead of uh, the event being me mousing over in this fact the event we're going to be listening for within the flash file is Prezi zooming to the next path point and what that looks like is this here's the flash file we're going to be working with it's called peekaboo and it's yellow just because it shows up on our orange background and if I advance to the next path point you'll see it opens up and reveals something if I mouse out it closes and obviously I can uh, I can sort of go in and go out to sort of uh, address the point. If I just go and just again explain how we've come about this, um, sometimes Prezi throws up errors. Uh, if you're a Flash developer you can look at these errors and what it's actually doing is exposing some of Prezi's events which you can then listen for in your action script to perform a reaction to. Again, Prezi does not publish these out. Um, this came about as as an error. Um, so just to just before I get arrested by the Prezi police for hacking their code. <laughs> right. So let's close that down for a moment, um, and let's go and have a look at how this works. So as I mentioned, you need um, Flash's authoring tool, which is called Adobe Flash CS 5.5. Uh, if you haven't got it, you can go and buy it, and if you cannot afford it, you can download a free version for 30 days, which is unrestricted from their website. So let me double-click on that and open it up. So as I said, this is really for people who probably are just beginning to use Flash, um, and is is not really applicable to you know the more advanced user. Um, also, this is just a basic run through. This is just the highlights. I'm not going to show you how this was created. I'll do that in a separate tutorial. This just gets you up and running really quickly if you want to use it. So once this opens up, the first thing you need to do is go to the File menu, 
tab on the top of Flash's authoring tool, click it and click open and within the four folders that I've provided in the download you need to go to the Flash source folder and within it there are two files a .as file and a .fla file. Do not open the .as file unless you know what you're doing. This is all the code, the script, um, and this is basically the language Flash uses to be clever. Uh, it's called ActionScript. Unless you know what you're doing, don't open it. What you need to open is the .fla file. So let's just open that. And again, if you are following this tutorial and the layout of the interface is different to the one that you're seeing here, uh, you can change the workspace within Flash. Um, just click on the Windows tab, go down to the bottom to Workspace, and you'll see here um, they create different layouts dependent on what you're doing, whether you're animating, whether you're developing. Uh, I'm using just Designer tab, just in case you want to follow this. So here there are there are basically, um, uh, I guess there are f sort of four or five key panels. One is the Tools panel one is the properties panel, one is the timeline panel and one is the uh, the library panel and the one in the middle is the stage so here is what the flash file looks like, it's in authoring mode so it won't work but this is just basically a compilation of, of these various assets in the library which are called movie clips and shapes uh, and again do a tutorial on the basics of flash and this will all make perfect sense to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to quickly show you how you can adjust this file and you know not the most uh, the best practice approach but a quick approach is to double click it and what we're basically doing is we're digging down into the into the movie clip that this is made up of so here you'll see it's expanded and here you'll see in the timeline you'll see this little red uh, this real red bar approach and if you grab it click on it and drag it you'll see the animation run. So this is the animation and here you'll see the action script that's associated with it and that's doing the listening for the zoom event so this does the clever bit and then tells this what to do which is to obviously run the animation or stop the animation. So if we uh, if we if we're here and we we collect uh, select this side of the movie clip and double click it this is where we can start to go and adjust uh, the various items that I've put on here or you can create your own with the tools tab up here um, equally we could go and add a new graphic to this uh, we could import to the library over here a new graphic let's go and do that just to show you so you could import many graphics I'm going to import a vector graphic which is an Adobe Illustrator file which integrates quite keenly with Flash I might add so let me just go and embed that so you'll see it shows up in the library and once it's in that library I can drag it literally onto the stage I can go to the tools menu uh, I can resize it and I can put it somewhere um, if I don't like the color of this panel double click on it and you'll see in the properties panel the color yellow I can click on that I can click a new color let's make it blue and then I can click back. So that's how you go and adjust this file and again do some basic tutorials and you'll find it a lot easier to go and sort of devise and create this I in your own design. Once you've gone and made those adjustments, changes, redesigned it, you then need to publish it for it to work with Prezi. So you go to the file tab, you go to export, you go to export movie, now here is a little um, trick. If you're in rapid prototyping and you do not want to go through the pain of opening the Prezi, re-importing the new graphic, in this case the Flash file, publishing it and seeing if it works, there's a little trick. You can go to the published Prezi I showed you earlier. With inside that there are two folders. Go into the data folder and then go into the REPO which is basically the repository for all the content in your Prezi. If you double click on it you'll actually see the flash file we're using within the Prezi. If you click it once and click save and click overwrite it actually overwrites the one I've just created with the one that's actually in Prezi without reauthoring Prezi. So now if I rerun Prezi as I did before and I click through 
and I made some rambling statements about flash events and actions here you'll see the new file I've created without actually having to reauthor Prezi and if I go to the next path point you'll see it open up voila okay so finally before I finish off because I'm sure you've heard enough of me talking if I go into the actual Prezi file I created this just explains how it works so I've got some text I've got some more text, I've got the button, and I've actually got the flash file which I embedded using the insert file. So if I just go to the path um, section for a moment, you'll see here I added the path points for uh, the text and the button. And here you'll see I added two more hidden frames. One that shows the whole peekaboo graphic, and secondly another hidden frame that's imposed upon that that shows the area I wish to zoom to. So here you can play around with this, make changes and see the effect it actually has in the finished design. This and all the files that I have shown in this overview are contained in the download. So hopefully that provides some overview. It is just the highlights, it is not a detailed way to construct it. I will do a separate um, tutorial for that but hopefully it sets you off on the path and as I say if you're new to flash I would highly recommend doing some very basic tutorials on how to create content how to manage content how to create movie clips and as I say if you're a flash developer or an advanced flash user look for the error files in the Presley forum and you can sometimes leverage those to to sort of perform more integrated actions with flash content anyway that's it I hope you found it useful all the files you can download in the attached links thanks very much for listening bye